Hello everybody, I'm again standing next to CFM 56-5B which belongs to A320 and today I would like to show you how to replace outlet guide wings uh, behind the fan. So let's take a look at it. But before we look on replacement, let me first tell you a little bit about outlet guide wings, uh, what is their purpose and we will compare them on two different engines. So let's start with the CFM. They have just aerodynamical purpose, uh, which means that they, t they take only load from the air coming out of the fan. Of course the load is huge because of course the engine drives airplane forward but uh, other than that they have no other purpose uh, they're inserted in so they are fixed in this position and they're screwed to the fan frame on the bottom and they're holding position also with this panel behind which you need to remove for removal of this outlet guide wings which you will see a bit later but the main structure part of the fan frame or the fan, how fan frame is attached to the uh, to the core are those huge struts uh, why we need them uh, the weight of the fan frame on this engine is huge due to all components which are installed on it yeah we can start with the uh, oil tank but then all major components uh, are installed on the fan frame like uh, gearbox yeah uh, hmu uh, lubrication unit hydraulic pump idg starter all these components are installed on the fan frame and they are uh, they're driven by shaft which is hidden inside of this strut inside you can find a shaft which goes to high pressure compressor and now you know why we have this huge struts on the CFM let's now compare it how it looks on the Pratt & Whitney 1100G on this PV 1100G we have an example of uh, multiple purpose of the outflow guide wings since they support the fan case itself there are no extra struts uh, on the fan case why is that the only components which are installed on the fan case itself is fadec on the right side and oil tank oil tank on the left side all the major components like uh, gearbox and uh, uh, hydraulic pump, fuel pump, uh, IDG, all those components are installed under C-duct on the core of the engine. That's why the fan case is so light and the only structural part are outflow guideways. So, easy as that. That was few information about outlet guide wings and now we can proceed with the replacement of doublet. And why doublet? Because these outlet guide wings come in the pair, but you will see that a little bit later when I will remove them from the airplane. Of course, before I start, I obeyed all safety precautions, then I deactivated sluts, then opened fan coils, deactivated thrust reverser, opened thrust reversers, and of course only then I could start with the work. First job to do is removal of the acoustical panel, which I already start with. Uh, it holds on place by four screws and three bolts with the nuts. Two of them are quite okay, but the third one, which is close to strut at six o'clock, is a bit hard to access because you have their anti-ass duct, but with a bit of skills it's possible to remove it. Hardest part is behind me, now I can start with the screws. And one information, if you will find any of those screws untorqued, uh, they need to be replaced, you are not allowed to use them again, so keep that in mind. As you can see, I have a longer hands is advantage in this point, because I can't really fit in two struts when I want to apply force on the ratchet, 
So yeah, if you have longer hands, it's a bit advantage. Uh -huh. All screws are loose, so I need to move them out and I can start with the removal of acoustical panel. Between the panels you can find RTV and U-shaped seals, which works as a bumper between the acoustical panel and strut. In my case uh, they remain on position because I remove just one acoustical panel and uh, since panel is out I can start with uh, removal of the doublet. It's secure on a place by three bolts and if you have proper equipment it's easy to remove of course. And since all three bolts are out we can start with the removal of the OGV doublet and how to do it? You just push it a bit inside of the inner shroud then tilt the doublet until you are able to move it out of the position. And of course before installation of the new OGV doublet I need to remove RTV from both panels which remain inside. And since this procedure is a bit messy I recommend you to have vacuum cleaner on the side. And then, before I'll install new OGV doublet, I'll perform inspection of the U-shaped seals because if you will find some damage on them, you need to remove the other acoustical panel to get access to it. But both of my seals are in good condition. And since OGV doublet is out, I can tell you a little bit about it. Both wings are made of uh, composite material, but the uh, leading edge is protected by metallic plate. And exactly this is the reason why I need to replace it, because my colleague found a small piece missing of the metallic protection on both uh, wings, and he protected it with uh, high speed tape, and like this it can fly several cycles. But after that it needs to be replaced, which was my job. And here you can see already the brand new one, which is nicely packed and we're gonna install it together. So let's go! Installation is pretty easy, so we need to tilt OGV doublet, insert it into inner shroud, push it in position and that's it. Now we need to lubricate bolts with the Vaseline and then we can install them. And of course when they are tight we need to torque them with exact volume which you of course find in your AMM. And since doublet is in place we can proceed with the installation of the acoustical panel. And be sure that the seal are correctly compressed between the panel and adjacent strut. And since mine is correctly on a place, I can lubricate the screws with the Vaseline and install them on position. All four screws are on a place, I'll torque them with exact volume. And be really careful that these bolts are in good condition, because if uh, the head is damaged, you will have an issue with the torquing procedure and uh, you will cause issues for the colleague who will gonna replace it next time. So keep this in mind and if you see that bolts are damaged, install new one. And meanwhile I installed three remaining bolts with the nuts in the aft section. And all what's remaining is to perform application of RTV in between aft acoustical panels. And after application of RTV I need to perform close up, which means closing of the C duct, activate the reversers, close the fan curls, activate sluts and of course remove all notices so my colleagues can continue working on the airplane. That was all about outlet guide wings. As always, I would like to ask you to don't use my video as a replacement for a maintenance manual. 
And if you need use it for training purposes only, for maintenance, use latest revision of the maintenance manual released by manufacturer. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button because many other videos are coming. Thank you for your time. My name is Tomáš. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto. And I'll see you next one. Bye.